Hello, thanks for clicking on the link to watch a short video focusing on Intuit's write-up platform, if you will, uh, using QuickBooks Account Edition as well as QuickBooks Statement Writer and the modules within QuickBooks Account Edition uh, to perform typical write-up tasks end of year. Uh, and the best thing about it is you keep it within the QuickBooks realm. It doesn't have to go anywhere else. So I'm in QuickBooks Accountant um, right now and uh, looking at the Accountant Center. Now there's three different ways that I could affect the trial balance. And this would, um, my goal is to get a nice adjusted trial balance to then send to the tax program or to go you know, process my reports that I have you know, engagements for for my clients. I'll show the, the smart map to the tax program in a second video. This one's just looking at cleaning up the balances, showing them up, and going right to the uh, report writer uh, once I have a nice adjusted trial balance. So the you know, adjusted trial balance report under accountant and taxes, this is my goal. Right? I want to get to an adjusted trial balance that's good for you know fiscal year 2011. Right? That's the tax period I'm focusing on. But things happen, you got to clean up, et cetera. And do your write-up. So you could just go ahead and make journal entries, adjusting entries, if you will, kind of look like this as you guys are doing for accruals or prepaids or depreciation and effect it, you know, 1231 2011. You're probably already doing that in your QuickBooks accountant. I could also use or leverage the working trial balance, which you can find under the accountant menu or right from the accountant center. Uh, looking at 2012, and I see my adjustments made and even work paper references. This is similar to the uh, write-up tool in CSA, a write-up you guys have, kind of a working trial balance, if you will. I can also go in and make adjustments here. Brings me back to the adjusting journal entry window. Right, so I can do that there. And we recommend, though, because there is considerable amount of cleanup to be done in your client's QuickBooks files, to use the client data review. This is where I can even shore up balances from the prior period. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Client Data Review, click on Troubleshoot Account Balances, and you'll see my debits and credits from the, la the when I worked on the file last year. Uh, and then, of course, the client's current trial balance as of the prior period. Remember, I'm reviewing 2011. Right? That's the tax year, but I want to make sure as of 1231-2010, the balances are still correct, and that's not always the case, we know. And then the differences, and I can quickly you know, show accounts with different balances. I can go ahead and make adjusting entries here as of 1231-2010, and then reverse them, uh, if you will. I can just go ahead and choose a, a vendor here. And then save and close, and it offers me the ability to uh, reverse it if I want to, and that'll do it as of 1-1-2011. You go ahead and save and close that. You guys heard those beeps, and I can go in and clean up AR and AP, reclassify miscoded transactions, etc. To get the adjusted trial balance as, you know, as accurate as it's supposed to be, uh, and even in 2013, uh, just to show you very quickly, this would, this would play in hand when you go into journal entries, I can send journal entries back to the client file if I don't want to use the accountant's copy. But that's you know, another thing, another alternative for you guys. So a way to keep the, the, your client's file clean as well as your version of it. Now that it's clean and you're ready to go, I can go ahead into my report writer, which I launched from the Accountant Center or under the Reports menu, QuickBooks Statement Writer. And then I can just refresh the current balances uh, for all statements. And it just pulls in the current, my balances, my adjusted trial balance, or the balances for the reports I'm looking at, into the statement writer. So if you are going to a report and you're creating some uh, you know, income and expense or financial statement or balance sheet, even as it will uh, integrate with Word and your Word documents, right there so here's this is what I have and I'll open up the Word document so you can see it. Uh, cover letters, disclosures, with, without, etc. So your compilation reports, uh, you have that ability there and that's QuickBooks Statement Writer. And the nice thing is, again, I can zoom into QuickBooks. It's linked. I don't have to go to another program or go to Excel and then go to another program. Anytime I make an adjustment, the Statement Writer will be updated with the correct balances. So that's my view of within the one realm under one roof with Intuit. You have QuickBooks Account Edition using Statement Writer and using the Client Data Review or the Journal Entry window, right? Um, where you guys can do the write-up you need to do and then run the reports. In the next video, I'll show you how it goes to tax once you have the adjusted trial balance, you know, shored up, if you will. Hope that's helpful. Have a great day.